Brothers and sisters, our offering for today is for the Diaconate Fund. For those of you who are not aware, the Diaconate Fund is um, a, a, a local um, yeah, fund that we keep um, for the deacons in our church to use to help out uh, those inside our congregation or in our local area who are facing a particular need at a particular uh, Tom, uh, this is uh, the only offering uh, for the diaconate uh, fund that we are having uh, this year, and there have been some some needs that have come up, and there have been some draws on the diaconate fund. So I would encourage you to prayerfully consider uh, giving to the diaconate fund. Uh, the fund can help anybody from uh, whether they need uh, groceries in a particular instance or a major appliance goes and they just can't afford to uh, fix it to helping folks out with counseling should they need it, uh, all that kind of stuff. And so please uh, prayerfully and cheerfully and gratefully uh, give uh, to that cause uh, today. Now let us come before the Lord in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for bringing us together today. Lord, we pray that you will guide us as we continue to dive into your scriptures, as we hear your word, and as uh, we receive the message that you, uh, you preach uh, this morning. Lord, not that my words are perfect, but that we trust and hope very much uh, that you would guide me, that uh, the words that I speak would be honoring to you. Lord, um, I, as a pastor, uh, submit myself to you. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing in your sight. And we, O oh God, as your congregation, we submit ourselves to you as well. Open our hearts and minds to hear what you would have us hear. Speak to us through your word, speak to us through your spirit, that we may know and grow in your truth, the only truth, ultimately, that there is. Father, we pray for all of the people of our congregation, O oh Lord. You know their each and every need. Lord, in particular, we pray for students as they are getting closer to the fall, as uh, some of them are able to work this summer and some are not, as some of them are making decisions about what the fall will look like for them, as others are waiting to receive decisions that are being made in other places. Lord, we pray for parents as they determine what their fall will look like uh, and as they wait in some cases on pins and needles to figure out, to hear from uh, the powers that be what those uh, decisions will be and what their fall will look like as well. Lord, we continue to pray for teachers and other folk who will be starting various things up in the fall. We ask that you will continue to give them guidance, O oh God. Lord, we, we continue to ask for guidance for ourselves as we uh, determine what the fall will look like. Uh, Lord, always submitting all of our plans uh, to you, O oh God. Lord, we pray as well that you will continue to give us patience as we uh, wade through this time. Father, we don't know exactly what uh, various uh, ministries will look like in the fall, uh, but Lord, we pray uh, that they will be pleasing in your sight and that we will do what you call us to do. Father, we pray as well in our congregation, uh, there are... Uh, there is at least one person who is uh, pregnant, um, uh, probably more, if I'm, I might not be remembering correctly, but you know, oh God. Uh, we pray for uh, particularly uh, this uh, young lady, this young family uh, that are getting close to their due date. Lord, we pray that you would be with Steve and Lindsay, oh Lord. Uh, Lord, we pray that... Uh, that the birth would happen, uh, yeah, just under your watchful eye and under the protection and shelter of your wings. 
Lord, we pray for uh, we pray for all of the folk in our congregation who are struggling with health concerns. We pray for uh, them that they would experience strength and encouragement and healing, Lord our God. Lord, we pray too for this world very much, O oh God, as we continue to see cases of COVID-19, uh, yeah, really increase throughout the world. Uh, Lord, we just pray uh, for your mercy on this world. Lord, we are encouraged by, by, uh, by some advances that are seemingly being made in the race to develop a vaccine, but Lord, we lay all of that very much in your hands. Lord, we pray too uh, for the political situation of this world. We submit all of our leaders in government and in all kinds of sectors to you, O oh God. Lord God, too, we pray for our crops, for our, our industries, for those works that we are seeking to do in this world, whether it be jobs, careers, uh, whether it be uh, yeah, volunteerism, whatever it is, O oh God, that you have called us to do, uh, those good works that you have called us to do with our hands and with our minds and the talents that you have given us. Lord, we pray that you will bless those endeavors and that where we have gone astray with our work, you will guide us. And Lord, where, we, uh, where it is so evident, so clearly evident that we are reliant upon you and your provision, which really, oh God, should be everywhere, <laughs> Lord, we pray, we pray indeed for that provision, trusting also that you do provide. And so, Lord, whether it be uh, rain and sun for our crops or whether it be, uh, whether it be a steady work uh, and employment or whether it be, uh, yeah, what have you, we pray that you will be with, with us in that and provide all that we stand in need of. Lord, we pray, uh, we pray as well for Alice uh, Vanderwerf, uh, Lord, our missionary, uh, who is uh, not uh, where she normally is, uh, but uh, Lord, she is, uh, she is working and, and discerning your will for her. Lord, we just pray that you will guide her and keep her uh, as well. Lord, we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just a note, uh, I mentioned Alice Vanderwerf in, in that prayer, and I would encourage you to check out um, her latest update letter, which hopefully you have received via email, and uh, just be in prayer for her in her um, developing situation. 